If there's one thing I want you to get from this video, it's that it does not matter when or how you start as long as you actually start. So I had the idea of rebooting this YouTube channel eight months ago uh, in, you know, in the summer and uh, I'm just now getting to making the first video and you know, I was thinking to myself, what better time to start than now? Uh, what's the point in waiting any longer to you know have everything feel like it's perfect or right you know before relaunching this channel and everything but you know, with all that being said welcome to p Sosi studio my name is perry Sosi, otherwise known as p Sosi, the people's designer and in an effort to have my studio practice really match my name and mission which is to be for the people or for the people, uh, as I like to say, I want this channel to be a hub of inspiration. You know, I'm gonna be sharing my work. I'm gonna share other artists' work and talk about it. Hopefully, you know, we'll be able to interview other artists, bring them on, hear their story, hear their perspective, and you know, about why and how they create what they create, you know, things like that. And then additionally, I hope to also be an educator. I've been, you know, doing art since I was very little, about nine years old. Uh, was when I first kind of feel like started drawing like seriously. And, you know, I've been doing graphic design since my freshman year of high school. So that makes it, I'm going on year eight, nine of, you know, being familiar with graphic design. And I think I have, a, you know, a ton of knowledge that I could share, you know, with people that would be able to help them, you know, pursue and grow uh, in their interest in graphic design. And then additionally, I really want to dive into art history, look at old artwork, because I think, you know, as creators, we all have this kind of sense of thinking like, oh, you know, we were making everything kind of like from thin air that, you know, we're so original and all that. Pretty much any work that is out there is has some sort of source or like, you know, it's taken, uh, it's derived from something else in, in the past. Uh, you know, there is a saying that there is nothing new under the sun. And so I think that's very true. Um, you know, you will always be able to find references in contemporary artwork that are relating to things in the past. And I think it's important to kind of, you know, every now and then kind of revisit, you know, what went on in different periods that kind of inform what design and art and creativity look like, you know, present day. And then to add to kind of education, I'm trying to get a lot more into reading. And I think this will really force me to be more of a reader and um, you know, I hope to kind of talk about different books that talk about uh, the arts, creativity, innovation, things of that nature. And then another really big thing that I want this channel to do is really just facilitate curiosity about the world around us. Through social media, we have so much access to see all the, you know, the beautiful creations that are in the different pockets of, you know, each part of this world. And I've just really kind of grown to appreciate, you know, all the work coming from different artists, different backgrounds. And I think I'm someone that has, you know, somewhat put myself in a box in terms of how I present my artistry online. I feel like most people that, you know, are familiar with my work just know me as kind of like, you know, this is the guy that kind of does sports illustrations. but. Um, I feel like I do so much more than that. You know, people that went to uh, school with me uh, that were in my design program, I feel like are really some of the only people that have seen my other type of work. Our program really forced us to make like a lot of books, publications. So I've, uh, I have, you know, experience with over typesetting, typography, all those kind of things. And I feel like I don't always kind of bring those to light or really share or talk about, you know, those different aspects of design. I feel like I've always been very like locked in into like sports design, uh, you know that kind of space so you know i want to facilitate curiosity for you guys and then also for myself i want to really like dive deep into other areas of um, artwork i guess outside of you know the niche that i've been currently operating in i sometimes just get too much into like my own zone of like i'm working on my creations my this my that and i think you know i'm trying to open up myself to really just being more aware of things outside of myself artists in a sense I feel like are a bit selfish in how we create and our processes, uh, you know, we really have to kind of focus internally uh, on what we're doing, but I'm I really kind of want to gear things more towards looking at external you know, sources. And then finally, I mean, I just want this page to be a place of good vibes, good energy. Oh my gosh, my battery's about to die. Hold up. Okay, so we're back. My, <laughs> my camera battery was dying of course the first video you know when you start things out it doesn't always go as you kind of intend or maybe plan 
But yeah, to just kind of give some closing thoughts, I mean, the main reason I'm starting this channel is to really kind of expand on my creative interests. Like I had mentioned, I kind of want to get out of the box or the niche that I've kind of put myself in with sports design, sports illustration. I think there's so much more that I have to offer to the world in terms of my creative, you know, abilities and uh, so much more to just really learn. I, I really want to be someone that's just like, like an information gobbler, pause, major pause, but I want to be someone that's just like consuming information uh, and just really always in the mindset of like learning and growing and learning and growing. I mean, the main thing really is to just provide you know some more value to you guys um and to be you know to be further that's my i feel like that's really my whole uh, mission and so yeah i'm excited to uh start out on this creative journey on youtube but yeah i mean that's pretty much all that i have for today for this first video and yeah thank you for you know taking the time to stop by the studio man uh, i don't know I don't have an outro yet. I think that that'll come later down the line. Oh my gosh, my voice. I will catch you next time. Peace.